What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, continuing with that rapid fire series, what I'm going to do today is actually kind of groovy. I'm gonna talk about a little ghost groove that you could try out. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but I just had to say thank you for subscribing. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button because uh, YouTube be tripping sometimes and not letting people know somebody update. Find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, we normally upload every Monday and every Thursday, something new, something different, something fresh. And it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, seriously, I appreciate and love all the comments, all the support, especially those that don't even speak Spanish and stay watching taco tuesdays you just you just gotta love it man I, I seriously appreciate all the support you guys continue to give so for today's rapid fire this is going to be a quick little video but i wanted to show you kind of like a ghost groove that you can try it's very easy and it's very deceiving at the same time but let me just uh show you this little groove real quick Groovy, man. You gotta love it. But yeah, let me uh, show you what I'm doing. So again, if you notice, there's a lot of ghosting going on with my non-dominant hand, a lot of touches, but that's what kind of gives the feeling of this groove. And you can use this groove a lot in like R&Bs, some funk, slow songs, some slow jams. You remember them slow jams? You remember them slow jams. But yes, you could try this on many different occasions. It sounds kind of wawankoish a little bit, a little bit, but it's really not that. It's kind of meant to be played in contemporary American music. It's a very, very chill, chill groove. So what I do to start this groove really is one open on the macho with my dominant hand. And then with my non-dominant hand, all I'm going to do is two little touches it's like a double, but it's really not a double, but it's just two little taps. Two little taps on the macho with my non-dominant hand. So to put that together. And then what I do is kind of the same exact thing and open with my dominant hand and then two little taps with my non-dominant hand on the macho. But the open that I do is kind of accented. So just listen to the feel, just to kind of get the grasp of it. After doing those two little taps, what I'm going to do is two opens, one with my dominant hand and then one with my non-dominant hand, again on the macho. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. After doing that open with your non-dominant hand on the macho, now we're gonna start going to the hembra, but you're still going to leave your non-dominant hand on the macho to do those little ghost notes. So what you're gonna do is one open on the hembra, then again, another tap on the macho with your non-dominant hand, then an open on the hembra, and then another tap on the macho with your non-dominant hand, and then an open on your hembra. So that should be three opens on the hembra. So to put it together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this.
Then to start the whole groove up again, what you're gonna do again, you're gonna go back to doing some ghosting right here on the macho. So what you're going to do is a tap ghost note with your non-dominant hand on the macho, and then a tap ghost note with your dominant hand on the macho. And then to go back to do the open to start the groove all over again, you're going to do a tap ghost note with your non-dominant hand on the macho. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together up to that point before starting the groove up again, it's gonna sound like this. Crazy. Now to play the whole groove through, it's gonna sound like this. And just to give you some perspective, let's replace all those taps, all those ghost notes with some opens on the macho. And let's see how much different it sounds. And we're gonna do kind of like going back and forth from the ghosting to doing those opens. And you're gonna hear how much different it sounds. Trust me, it's, it's drastic and it doesn't sound as cool. It does not sound as cool. doesn't sound as uh, dynamic as the ghosting one. I think the ghosting kind of takes you on some levels, you know? You gotta love them levels. Now to count the groove, that first hit, that first open that you do, that's going to be your one. But to kind of give you an example of that, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, You gotta love them simple grooves, man. You gotta love it. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm thinking this will be the last video for Rapid Fire series for the month of April. I may continue this later down the road, but you know, we just gotta keep this thing going, keep this thing moving. And uh, I do have some announcements to make next month. So please bear with me. I got a lot of things on my plate right now. And uh, yes, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that later. But yes, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this video, about this groove, about this series. Let me know what you guys want, because I'll try to give it to you, man. I'll try to give it to you. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys the next video. Have a great rest of your day.